how do people start these things? Like seriously, do you just like speak to yourself for a while? Do you keep speaking until you build up that momentum whilst you're staring into a camera that's eerily staring back at you in this dark room? Or do people just get used to it? Do they have a script? Maybe they have a script in front of them that they kind of read out as they, as they start a video and then eventually it kind of gets stuck in the head. I have no idea. I mean, how do you start this? Let's maybe... Hmm. Hello. Welcome to my channel. How the heck did you get here? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. How are you... How are you doing? I know you can't respond. Don't mind my fiddling. I know I, I know you can't respond, but that's okay. If you just if you if you respond either by speaking back to the monitor at me, I'll I'll pretend that I hear it. <laughs> so uh, how how are you doing? That's nice. I'm I'm glad you I'm glad you're doing okay. Or if you're not doing okay, I'm really sorry to hear that. Sending good vibes your way. Okay, this is clearly off to a great start. Um, <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing today? Okay, so today I am reacting to a Nukes Top 5 video. Um, I've never done anything like this before, so please do excuse my walk with this. Is this awkward? Is this an awkward moment we're sharing right now? It's not that awkward, really, is it? No, it's not too bad. Anyway, let's just get into it before before it goes too off the rails. So today we're going to be watching a Nukes Top 5 video. It's five ghost videos that are so scary you'll regret watching. Will we? Will we nuke? Let's find out. Go on full screen, get that in there. Oh, my head is massive. Top Let's ghosts. move me over there. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that cut. I realised I got like a minute in, I realized that it's so dark in here that the light, <laughs> there's no light, so you can't see me. So what I've done, very professionally, by the way, top tip for anyone else that's wanted to start this, I've opened a notepad on my second monitor, and I'm just using the white background of that to light me a little bit more. Okay, here we go, let's continue. Top five ghosts, call on camera. Here we go. Strange Brew. Popular YouTube ghost hunting team Twin Paranormal are invited to investigate the allegedly haunted Cutthroat Brewing Company in Markleyville, California. Originally built in 1862, the building has been through many changes over the last 158 years. The structure has served as a hotel, a bar, a restaurant, and for a time, even as a temporary doctor's office and morgue. Ooh. Through the years, owners, employees, and visitors to the Cutthroat Brewing Company have frequently witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. They say that bottles and chairs in the bar sometimes just move on their own. Many have seen and heard the dark apparition of a woman wearing heels pacing back and forth in front of the windows on the second floor. And some have spotted the menacing figure of a man standing behind the restaurant's bar. Once, a grandmother brought her very young granddaughter along with her to visit a friend who worked at the Cutthroat. When they reached the upper floor of the building, the toddler seemed to start playing with a child who just wasn't there, laughing at- Okay, straight away, children, ghosts, that's a no from me. And talking to this invisible child. The little girl kept calling out the name Sophie over and over while playing. The grandmother said that she didn't know anyone named Sophie, and she didn't know where the child could have even heard that name. Twin paranormal team Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Nick are staying at the Cutthroat Brewing Company overnight to try to capture some of the location's intense paranormal activity. They decide to place a ball at the top of the staircase to potentially trigger the spirit named quote, Sophie to play with it or move it. As soon as we got here, we wanted to do a quick little test. Um, I had mentioned to Wyatt that I wanted to put a ball at the top of the stairs just to see what would happen. And literally, we have the clip. Did anybody hear that step right there? I had heard it say left, and then I heard like a, a footstep right here. Literally right here. 
Oh. The boy! The boy! The boy! Oh, I hate that voice. Oh. The boy! The boy! Thank you! It's going, it's going, it's going. Thank you! It's okay. It's okay. Uh, are you up there? And if you're thinking that the ball placed on the step's edge was just bound to fall anyway, possibly. Well, it should be noted that Ryan did test to make sure that the ball wouldn't just fall over on its own. You you filmed us uh, stomping next to Yes, right? I did. Yes, I did. How is that ball so stable? I can place I if I place a ball on my desk and if I breathe in its direction, it'll be on the other side of the room. These are some well angled stairs. So they try the ball test again. We hear you upstairs. Use your energy. Kick that ball. Or you can no, talk. No, no, no. Oh! Sorry. So oh, everybody's gonna make fun of me for that one. I'm sorry, it, it just really scared me because it caught me off guard. It really did. That's fair. This That's time fair. the ball bounces back down the steps as if on command. The team gathers their courage and asks the spirits that haunt the Cutthroat Brewing Company some questions using a modified spirit box. They get some very strange answers, but what they don't know is that one of their stationary cameras captures something truly chilling. Who's here with us tonight? Oh, oh no. Uh Oh, that's so gross. Okay. Let's just wind it back a little bit. Not wind not wind it back. I don't I don't really hear I know that's spirit box. I've played some Phasmophobia. I'm basically an expert at this. I'm not really hearing those words. I don't know if uh, maybe it's just the way it's because it's recorded from the spirit box to the camera and then the cameras we're hearing it from the camera's microphone. Um those are a little bit of a push. However, that shadow, well, the ball, first of all, that's a bit spooky. That's a little, that's a little bit spooky. I understand why he kind of screamed, because I would have screamed probably as well if a ball suddenly started coming at me like that. But then this, this is that a shadow? Is that person, basically, that was just walking through? Let's just roll it back. Let's just, that right there, that person, right in the center. I hate it. Oh, I hate that. Oh, sorry. Let's continue. Fish. Oh. Oh god. It's like they stood there the whole time. As we were asking our questions towards the front of the building, one of mm. our night vision cameras pointing towards the back door had picked up what looks like a man coming in through the back gate into the building. If you look close, this man-like figure starts to form his body and then his head right after. Then he turns his head facing our direction before exiting out the back door. It's kind so, of like he's hunched over. what do you think? Did the ghost of a child named Sophie roll the ball down the stairs? Could the strange figure be the spirit of the man people claim to have seen behind the bar? And if not, just who or what is this? You can watch the all new part two of the Cutthroat Brewing Company investigation Ooh, over two. on the Twin Paranormal YouTube channel. The John Lowe. Okay, before we get to the next one. Sorry, I keep pausing there. I don't know like the proper etiquette to this. Like, should I speak over the video as it's going? Is it annoying to keep pausing it? I know sometimes I've watched uh, reaction videos and it's kind of annoying when they keep pausing, but I think it's also like a tactical thing. Like you kind of have to keep pausing because YouTube doesn't like it if you just watch the whole thing. Anyway, what I was going to say is the ball. Yeah, that kind of, that that sort of rolls down the hill. By the way, when I'm looking over here, I'm looking at the camera to make... Oh, I'm still recording. I am still recording. Okay. I was going to say, I'm looking at the camera, to, the camera to make sure I'm still recording. And by the camera, I mean the other monitor. Um, the ball. That's kind of spooky. Mm, could be anything really. Could be, you know, like a gust of wind. I don't know. Uh, it's kind of explainable, I guess. Um, the spirit box uh, that's speaking. 
again, it's one of those things that's like, is it speaking? Oh, it's a little girl screaming outside. I hate it. She's okay. Anyway, um, the spirit box. That's um, uh, take it or leave. It's not that spooky. It's not uh, to me. It's not giving very intelligent responses. Um, however, you know, I'm 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 happy if you disagree. The figure that we see now that is spooky. I hate that. That's horrible. It's like there the whole time. It's kind of like hunched over, and then it walks away. Um, I'm gonna give that clip. I'm gonna rate these on spooky meters on a spooky meter that I'm making up right now. Um, that's going to be, um, it's not that spooky, like the, the figure kind of got me a little bit, so I'm going to give it a, a four, that's a four in, in a, a, a four spook. Let's continue, that did not do anything. Did that stop the recording? No, very professional. Let's continue. Oh, murder house. In 2014, 82 oh. year old dog breeder John Lowe's mind just seemed to snap one night. I love dogs. In a fit of rage, he tragically ended the lives of his 66 year old girlfriend, Christine Lee, and her daughter Lucy at his family home in Surrey, England. Lucy was somehow able to call the authorities moments before she lost her life, and John Lowe was arrested for his crimes shortly thereafter. That's so sad. The sudden strange and brutal act shocked the entire country. Since the tragedy, the house has been left completely abandoned. Paranormal investigator Simon from the YouTube channel Ghost Raiders went to what locals now call the quote, John Lowe Murder House. His intent was to try to make contact with the spirits of the victims who are still believed to haunt the scene of the crime. Together with YouTube ghost hunters proving demons, they try to communicate with Christine and her daughter Lucy using a spirit box. Their questions get some very strange and eerily accurate responses. Is Lucy here? If Lucy is also here, can you say Lucy? Lucy Whoa, that was so instant clear. and clear. Lucy is with us. Are you here in this room with us, yes or no? I didn't hear that. Ooh. The shocking spirit box replies okay. to acknowledge that Lucy and her mother might be trying to make contact with the paranormal investigators. But things get even stranger when Olivia from Proving Demons claims that she feels something touching her back. Hmm. Hold on, hold on now. Could it be a card on the road? Did she just behind grab me? my back? No, I didn't grab your back. Why? Video? No, seriously, did you just grab my back? I swear, no, I, swear like, I didn't touch you. That was hard. Andrew was holding, I didn't touch you. Andrew was holding with the hand that he would grab you back. The camera. And my other hand's in my pocket. Hand was in his pocket. There was nothing well, that he could unless, have grabbed his back with. Unless my jacket was halfway up my back, something just pulled it. Did you see it? Right before Olivia says something grabbed her back, no? a small light enveloped by a strange translucent mm. mist seems to rise up and away from her. This bizarre light or mist was not even noticed by any of the explorers. I'm not sure how I feel about ghost orbs. Ghost light mist orbs. It's one of those things, there's a lot of things that could actually be, especially when you got infrared beaming all over the place. I'm not 100% convinced on that. Could it be a car on the road? I she just behind grabbed me. my back. No, I didn't grab your back. Why? After Simon uploaded the video to the Ghost Raiders channel, keen eyed YouTube viewers pointed out the very strange phenomenon. Now, I have to say that this clip is one of the more compelling pieces of paranormal footage that I've seen, because being able to fake this mist, time it perfectly, and then this very real reaction from Olivia when she says her back is touched, well, it all seems very hard to fake. But of course, I could be wrong. Let me know what you think. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think should be included in the top five, contact us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. I'm going to pause that a second whilst it's bright and you can see me.
Mm, that clip wasn't very scary, was it? I don't think I was scary. I need to stop looking over here. Like, I look over to my camera to where I can see myself. And then I see myself, like, eerily looking over to the side. So I'm going to put myself all the way over there so I can't just glance over like that. To stop myself. Mm, that wasn't too scary. I'm certainly, I certainly don't regret. If I was to regret watching that, it's because it wasn't that scary. Um, I'm going to give that a one on the spooky meter. The Hills Have Eyes. Amr from the popular YouTube channel Amr slash 3AMR travels to the site of several abandoned buildings in the middle of nowhere in Saudi Arabia. Ooh. Amr believes that the site he's exploring has been used to perform occult rituals and is a place used by witches. Okay. As soon as he starts exploring, he begins to feel uncomfortable, and with good reason. It seems like he's not alone. Oh. Oh, I hate it. Don't run at it. What are you doing? Oh, I hate that. Mm. Yeah. It had reflective eyes. Well, I'm becoming a dumb man. Why are you in there? <laughs> Why did you run in there? Someone or something with glowing eyes seems to be staring at Amr from inside one of the buildings. When he runs over, no one there. He searches through the entire building but finds absolutely nothing. The figure with glowing eyes seems to have mysteriously disappeared without a sound. Amr continues on to one of the other creepy buildings, but he still feels like he's being watched. Mm. Oh, there it is again, reflective. I see the reflectiveness. Oh, there's before he goes in I just want to say I, f I don't know I don't know how I feel about this one it was creepy at first and it got me at first but it seems a bit too too substantial to be true, if that makes sense. Like too good to be true, in a sense. Too clear, too Yeah, let's just continue. Come fishing in walk of Ali. Bismillah. I don't think there's glass in the window. Again, a figure with glowing eyes seems to be staring at him, this time from one of the windows of a building further away. He can't believe his eyes, and again he charges toward the building, and again he finds nothing. Things now begin to take a darkly sinister turn Ooh, okay. as it seems the strange shadow figures 
are all around. That's what, so I, I know I keep pausing. I'm going I'm to try and stop pausing it as much. But why wouldn't you run to the window? Like, why would you run around the building and go in? Why wouldn't you go straight to the window and shove the camera at the window? Because then you kind of got the protection of the wall as well. You can kind of hide behind the wall, get the camera in there. Leg it. Tim. Bismillah. Bismillah. Oh, there's one. Bismillah. Bismillah. Rahim. Bismillah. Bismillah. Reminds me of characters from Super Meat Boy. Ooh, don't like that. He's out in. Bismillah. What Bismillah. Amr starts to hear terrifying sounds from all directions. He decides to just get out of there. Yes, so sir. what do you think these bizarre dark figures could be? Is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Just a Okay. I'm gonna give that a, a two on the spooky rating. It's just, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, uh, it feels like it's too, there's too much there for it to be true, if that makes sense. It's too, I, I mentioned, I explained it before. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not entirely convinced on that one, so I'm going to give it a two on the spooky scale. However, if that was true, and he's there and he sees something like that, like right at the beginning, why would you run at it? Why? <laughs> just let's just go. Like that's either some spooky demon that's gonna like attack you, or that's some spooky human that's gonna attack you. It's not a good it's not a good ending to the story either way. So that's a two on the spooky scale. Around the corner. Okay. The okay. YouTube channel Lego Papa TV travels to the abandoned Letchworth Village Mental Asylum in New York. The village consists of 130 buildings and served as an asylum for the physically and mentally disabled for over 100 years. The okay. institution was permanently closed down in 1996 after thousands of reports of patient abuse. The patients, most of them children, were found unclothed, unbathed, malnourished, and neglected. Hundreds of patients lost their lives at the Letchworth Asylum and were buried in nameless graves near the institution. Levy from Lego Papa TV is investigating the now abandoned Letchworth Asylum with his wife Kathy. When they get to the area that used to be the hospital morgue, Kathy mm. sees something very strange in one of the doors. Wait. Oh, there's something cool over there. You saw something? Yes, I saw something step in that room. But it was fast. Wait, Chris. Hello? Don't look. Look. They're standing up. Um, that's serious. When you pointed this way, I saw this. Yeah. I like somebody was like this and one like this. Now, unfortunately, they didn't capture what she saw on camera. So, Levy decides to set up a static night vision camera to record the hallway where his wife saw the strange. Sorry, let's just go back a second. Did I just see something? I'm sure I saw. It might just be my mind from that last clip. I'm sure I saw some glowing eyes or something that was like reflecting back at them. It was like two dots. I'll try and pause when oh, it gets to it. Know. Um, that's serious. When you point to this way, Look I Look in the center this. of the door. I it like somebody was like this and one like this. Now, unfortunately, they didn't capture what she saw on camera. Oh, there, did you see it? Um, oh, I, don't, I don't know how to go back like a frame. <laughs> Can somebody tell me how to go back frame by frame? Right, let's see if we can. Camera. Oh, there, there, see it just start in the middle. And then there's going to be a second dot. So, let me. No, it looks like it was just one dot with the blur. Sorry. He decides to set up a static night vision camera to record the hallway where his wife saw the strange figure. Hours after he sets up the camera, he catches something downright chilling. Oh. Hmm. Was I in front of the door? Oh. What huh. looks to be the malformed apparition of a person seems to peek around the corner and then simply disappear back into the darkness. Hmm. 
Could this be the spirit of one of the patients that passed away at the Letchworth Asylum? That's or pretty cool. is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Right. Again, that's another uh, spooky location. That weird, like, that weird eye thing that I saw. Mm, I'm gonna give that. That's another two. That's not very spooky. Nice. TikTok user Joe yeah. Vrola is at home with his girlfriend when he hears something strange coming from somewhere in their apartment. Mm. Since they have experienced unexplained activity in their home before, he takes out his camera and starts recording as he goes to check out the sound. It did not go well. What are you doing? I think I heard something. I think I heard something. Mm. Oh, what is that? Oh, hello. Oh! Did you Why see would it? you stand there like that? The are you? Are you? Seems to rise oh. up out of the chair. You mad? into nothing. But Joe actually seems to be a bit more freaked out by the sudden appearance of his girlfriend. Cause it's like reflexively like punch you then like, that's dangerous the... Jesus oh Christ. god again that's oh, now god, like what it. do you think this strange floating figure is hmm. is it a ghost or is it just some very good special effects work you decide I don't think that's I don't believe this one to put it to put it straight I don't particularly believe this one um, I feel like that's too easy of an effect to create because it's kind of just uh, it's not it's not a difficult effect to create basically. Um, now the girlfriend being stood directly behind him, basically sniffing the back of his neck. Now that's creepy. Screw that. <laughs> Don't want any of that. Um, it, yeah, to me it just seems too perfectly kind of set up. It's too perfectly set up. Like she's she's immediate. Like as soon as he starts recording, she's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm going to go check it out." It's like it's it's almost like wouldn't he have mentioned when he was like bringing up his phone like getting out of bed like oh I've just heard something like let me grab my phone and record this it's kind of how I'd imagine it anyway um I am kind of I'm a bit biased to wanting to believe this isn't real because I am in an apartment on my own um in the dark so I'd rather there not be any spooky ghosts in here please um yeah that um. I'm going to give that a two, and it's a two, not because of the ghost, I'm not convinced by the ghost, but because the girlfriend just stood directly behind him. Ugh. Gross. In the shadows. Ooh, extra. Bonus. Reddit user A. Perez submitted this next video to the Nukes Top 5 subreddit. He claims the video was originally shared to Facebook by his niece, Jamie, who had recorded her children playfully jumping on her new bed. But when the video was posted, friends and family were very quick to point out that there was something very strange going on in the video that Jamie hadn't noticed at the time of the recording. When she reviewed the footage, she was shocked. Oh, is there something in the window? Can't see. Whoa. Did that? Oh. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Did you see it? Right before she ends the video, while still distracted by her children, a shadow can be seen lurking in the bathroom, seemingly hiding behind the door. What makes this footage even more bizarre is that even though there's enough light to slightly illuminate the bathroom, the figure does not seem to have any facial features that catch the light. Even when the footage is brightened and enhanced, there are still no facial features or details visible in the bizarre shadow figure. So is this creepy footage real or fake? Let me know what you think. The door's moving there as well. You can see at the bottom, I'm pointing at my screen. That's not gonna help. You can see at the bottom of the door, you can see like there's like a foot there. And that kind of stays there for the entire kind of duration that you're looking at this door. You are seeing the door move slowly as she pans over there. And also like the first time before they add the effects, it might just be like a visual glitch. It almost looks like there were like there's like a reflectiveness in their eyes. Or where where you would think the eyes are. 
Um, so it it could be that someone's because yeah, my my initial thought was the same as Nuke, where it's like even though there is light going in there, it's still very dark. It's like it's absorbing the light, and that kind of freaked me out. But also, they could be wearing all black, and say if they're wearing like a, a balaclava, for example, um, and then they've got black sunglasses on, it might produce that kind of effect. So let's actually go back a little bit. And just watch around where you'd expect the eyes to be. Uh, I don't want... Okay, no, it's, that's got the effect on it. Okay. Mm, actually, never mind. I don't think it is a glint. I think it's the effect on this filter. Because this is this is Snapchat, clearly. So I think it's, you know, those like white dots that are around. I think some of those appear where the eyes are. So I was thinking that might have been the sunglasses. Well, let's just have one more, one more check. Mm, yeah, I didn't see it that time. Okay. Did you see it? Yeah, so let's just uh, skip forward a little bit. Bathroom. The figures brightened as our shadow figure. So is this creepy footage real or fake? Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please follow me on Twitter for video and channel updates. I'll see you next week. Okay, there we go. That last one on the spooky rating again. Uh, if that's real. I'd be fr I'd be freaking out. That would be like a eleven out of ten to sort of watch that back afterwards and see that in your bathroom next to you. I'd be like, kids, we need to get out of the house right now. We need to not even just you don't even say you just whisper, kids, let's get out of the house because they might be listening, and you call the police and get them to do a full check of the house because seeing that, I'd be freaked out thinking that there's like a a burglar. A bur yeah, a burglar in the house, like waiting or watching. Uh, watching me. That's even worse. I'm watching. Uh, no, gross. Um. So in terms of uh, whether I think that's paranormal, mm, not convinced. Not convinced. I am open to this stuff. I'm just not convinced with that one. Um. I'm gonna give that. I'm gonna give that a one. I'm gonna give that one. That's a low one. Um. Yeah, that was, that, was, that was a pretty low one, because, again, I don't really believe that one. It's kind of like that one... Was it the first one? No, not the first one. That was probably spooky. Uh, not that one. That one where he's walking around the houses, and there's kind of just that black mass with the eyes just standing there. It kind of reminds me of that one a little bit. Um, so I feel like it's just... Uh, it's a bit too substantial. Like, if that's real, that's that's amazing. If the, but I feel like it's extremely likely it's not real. So yeah, um, we'll end that there. Um, let me know if if there's any videos that you want me to watch. I might look at some of us. I feel like this one, again, these were all pretty low ones. I don't think this was a, a great. There wasn't very many spooks in here. Still give a thumbs up though. Show support. Um, definitely check out. I might might go to like the most popular ones because those are the ones that are clearly being shared. Um, so I might just do that next time. And we'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, let me know what you thought. Let me know if, if um, anything in there that's I'm not doing right. <laughs> like, if you don't like me pausing all the time and talking about it. Um, or if you don't like me speaking whilst the video is playing. I'll try and... I, I, yeah, I'll try and cut down on that a little bit. Same with pausing so much. Because this has probably gone on for quite a while. Oh, God. Yeah, this has gone on for quite a while. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. If you have watched, thank you for watching. And yeah, let me know.